Okay, in this video we're gonna check three different ways to add a fraction. This will work the same for adding and subtracting. So basically, <coughs> one of the way is uh, I just multiplying four times eight and eight times four. That's the very famous cross multiplication. So we basically, that would be um, 32 here, 24 plus, it will be 32 on the bottom, because eight and four, 32, and then two and four is eight, and that will be at the end equal 32 divided by 32 and that will be equals 1. Now when students do this uh, it's showing that he does not understand how to add fractions and he just memorizing the process but it's not analyzing what's going on. Okay, uh, another method which I consider a better one is just uh, multiplying the 4 by a number that give me 8 because at the end what I want is that have two denominators the same so if I just do 4 times 2 I'm going to find the 3 by 2 also so I just have uh, my goal which is have the same number in the denominator so that becomes 4 times 2 is 8 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 over 8 that will be equals 8 over 8 and that will be equals 1 now the answer will be the same, that, that's not the, the problem here. We're trying to find a way to make it simple, faster and, and easier. So <clears throat> that's another way because what we do, we play with equivalent fractions. We can multiply and divide by the same number top and bottom to make my goal which is have the same number in the denominator. Now let's do it again, but in this case instead of um, 4 times 2 to get an 8, let's divide 8 divided by 2, though I have also divide 2 divided by 2. Now, if the number on top is not divisible by 2, I cannot divide the bottom by 2 in this case. So, here I put the same, the first fraction as the same, 3, 4, plus 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, here I have now 4 over 4, and that will be equals to 1. Now, Usually we do not use division into a fraction, but that's something that you can use and, and that helps uh, to make the process uh, working with lower numbers with smaller number, which, which is uh, a good point. So uh, the first one is the most used in middle schools and is the worst because it's just memorizing the process that when you're working with more complex fractions, even variables, that would be a, a headache. This one is like the, the one students use when they understand how to do fraction, basically those two. They are easier, uh, whichever feels uh, better for you, just go ahead with that. So those just want to present those three different ways to add fractions hope this video helped you and let me know which method you use and uh, which one of those three will be better for you so you can tell me uh, your your state and what method did someone teach you in school that will help me make a, like a data video about what's going on in schools here in in, in United States and, and some other countries thanks and Thanks for watching.